most advanced taxi booking solution VX SimTrans. Here you can see on my screen the front end of the website where you can actually get logged in, sign up and you can sign up as a driver, sign up as a rider and even book a cab using our system. You can create an account with these and it's very easy to use using social logins and everything. The basic idea for this one is to ensure that you get a taxi for yourself using the mobile app or the web app and start on your way. Now let me show you the admin panel. So this is the admin panel. We have already pre-filled the login details. Once you sign in inside, you will see a complete dashboard. You can see the total number of rides, the revenue earned, the types of services offered, total cancel rides, user cancel count. Provide a cancel count, number of fleets, and number of scheduled rides. Now, these are the recent rides with their history. Now, this is the dashboard. When you move next, this is the dispatcher panel using which a person can give you a call and you can manually dispatch the ride for the customer. This is very easy to fill in. You can fill in the details and then you can select the type of services and you can select a provider manually or you can auto assign a driver. Now the next thing is the heat map. In the heat map, you have a clear picture like which areas are actually pertaining to most of the rides. This is the user panel where you can actually manage users who are listed using your app or the web. These are the providers who are actually working with you as drivers, providing various kind of services. And you can see entire detailing of them. So all the details are here. Now these are for the dispatchers who will be working with you. They don't have to be admins. They can just be a dispatchers who will receive the calls and do the dispatch for you. These are the fleet owners, the people who are having multiple cars and multiple drivers under them. They can be listed here and they can be listed with their drivers. So they can have their own panel and they can check what is the status of the drives and what amount of money are they making a week. These are the account managers who are below, you can rather call them sub-admins. They'll be under you to manage the things, but they won't be able to control the service types or the financial aspects of the company. This all, all these three dispatchers, fleet owners, and account managers, they have their separate logins other than the admins. This is the account statements where you can see the overall right statements. Then you can see the provider statement, what amount of money you are supposed to actually disperse. The daily statement, your daily commutes. This is your monthly statement and your yearly statement as well. <coughs> this gives you a complete reporting of your services provided. Now this is again a map which gives you a clear picture like who are, where are your users, where are your providers and stuff. Now these are the ratings and review for you to understand like what kind of ratings users are getting and what kind of ratings providers are getting. Since it's our demo software, at times you won't find all the details in here. <coughs> now this is the request history where you can check actually what requests were made and whether they were completed or whether there were some issues or something like that and whether they were paid and they were paid how. This is a scheduled rate mechanism where you can book later and this can be managed from here. These are the service types where you can actually list various kind of service types whether you want to Go for a sedan, hatchback, SUV, luxury, even a helicopter, even an aeroplane, even a bicycle, beat anything, you can get it listed with different pricing calculations. And the pricing calculation can be multiple based actually. <coughs> you can make it per minute pricing, per hour pricing, distance of per minute pricing, distance of per hour pricing. So you can even go for a rental system using this. These are kind of documents which you actually require for a driver or the customer to actually provide to start working with you. These are the promo codes which you can give to your customers to promote your business.
and uh, promo codes can be uh, used even to uh, gain more customers for your business as uh, everyone who wants to start needs to popularize their business by offering incentives to customers to ride with you. <coughs> this is the payment history like uh, how you have received payment and what amount of payments you have received. This is the payment settings where you can actually set up your payments. Uh, we have uh, put up two modes of payment. One is uh, Stripe for card payments. But this can be changed to PayPal, Braintree or any other payment gateway you provide. And these are the cash payments. It's up to you whether you want to enable or disable. Now this is this particular thing, this payment settings, this uh, goes more for the drivers. What it happens is like you can give them a daily target of what amount of rides they're supposed to do. And this is a tax percent of what amount of tax you're charging over the bill amount. This is the search trigger point like a, after once uh, there is a, a hike of uh, users in a particular area above this particular number there will be a surge pricing will start and this is the amount of surge percentage which will go up over the base price you have put up this is the commission percentage this is the amount of money which you make running this business this is the booking id prefix you really don't need to worry about it it's more of a database system and you can select various kind of currencies a lot of currencies are added and if you need any specific currency we can uh, get it added here without any problems now these are the site settings, the very basic thing where you can actually edit the site names and the logos and uh, like uh, how much time you want a provider to get before uh, like uh, before he, he can accept or decline the request from a customer. The radius, the area from which a user can actually search a provider within a specific range. This is the source number this is, and again these are the contact numbers and your email addresses and whether you want to enable social login over your website and apps or not. Now this is the privacy policy help and translations for multi-language systems and uh, that which uh, that would pretty much sum up for it uh, this is the basic insight there are a lot of technical features uh, which are based on database and some uh, files which can be manually edited and added and if you have any more further queries you can definitely ask us we are synthetic we are technology it friend thank you so very much for watching